Okay, I'm just making sure that the record button is on. It is. Okay. <laughs> Hi, peeps. Thanks for stopping by. I hope you're all having a great day. Today is going to be the revisited. <laughs> this is me doing the tutorial that I was wearing my Velcro roller set. This is me redoing it and making sure that the record button is on because we know what happened in the last video. Okay, this is going to be a recreation. And I already have my foundation on because I just finished the bare mineral, I'm, not the bare minerals, the mineral powder foundation video. So I have my concealer on, I have my um, mineral foundation on, and I've already done my brows just to save time. Because, you know, I like to yak a little more than actually sit here and do stuff. <laughs> okay, peeps, so uh, I am going to get started and hopefully... Hopefully, this is going to be up within the next couple of days. It is very, very, very windy here. We've lost power a couple of times, but we do have a generator. So, um, you know, we're not completely lost in the dark. But uh, the power is back on right now. My ba battery is fully charged. And uh, I'm going to, uh, I don't have a great light outside, but hopefully it won't be too bad. So, uh, let's get going, okay? I'm going to start with a primer. And I'm going to use Max Painterly, and it is on its last leg. I wish Mac would do these in half sizes. I understand why they do it because if you're a professional makeup artist, you have a tendency to go through these much quicker. But for little old me and little old you, oh, a half size one would be fabulous, wouldn't it? Okay, so I'm just setting that to give me a little bit of a base to hold my eyeshadows in place. Today I will be using some of my most favorite eyeshadows. Um, I love the red browns and especially the other day I was wearing navy blue. I love them when I'm wearing navy blue clothing. But today I'm just wearing brown. But it'll still be okay with brown. Okay, so you want to just kind of pat that on because you do want to be very gentle in the eye area. And I always like to go and just pat everything just to make sure that the warmth of my finger has blended everything very smoothly. Again, that was Painterly by MAC. I will put everything underneath the video, okay? I think I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. Let me zoom in a little bit. Nope, that's zooming out. Oh, do you see I have a little pinky back there on the wall hanging? You see my little feet hanging? I know everybody's gonna ask me. That is, that's my little foot. That's how I say hello to my special friend. Okay, so I moved in a little closer, and we'll see how that works for me. Okay, so I'm going to start with some MAC shadows. I'm going to be using mostly mattes. I will use a little bit of a shimmer. Okay, I'm going to go in with, let's, let's do some matte shadows first. Uh, let's see. My, my most favorite colors uh, for, you know, my base color is usually Samoya Silk, Bamboo, and of course, I love soft brown and arena, but I don't want to use any shimmer right now. I may go in with shimmer in the end, but I think I'm going to change that. Okay, so I'm going to take Samoya Silk, and I actually, I buy three or four of these at a time because I am so afraid that MAC will discontinue this shade. So I'm going to see how I, I do just looking in this mirror, and hopefully I won't have to grab my tent timer. So I'm going in with a fluffy brush, and I'm not going to close my eyes. I'm going to look straight ahead. I'm going to start at that bone that's right above my crease. And I'm just going to sweep this color on and I'm gonna, you don't have to worry about it being super neat here. It's just a base color. But I always like to lift it a little high in the corner to give the eye a lift. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I work eye to eye. Always tap off. Always working in. I hold my brush further down. You have less tendency to smash the colors on. And then I'm going to go in with a little more. I'm, I'm pretty much just applying the color right now. You can pat it to get yourself your foundation of it. So let's pat that and then we'll pat a little in the corner here. And then you can do a little bit of rubbing to blend it. Now 
notice I'm really bringing it up. I'm not bringing it to the brow bone, but I am bringing it up a little bit. That does, it lifts the eyes up. Okay, so now I think I'm going to use saddle. And this is just going to be, uh, anyway, let me tell you, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that these glasses work for me. Okay. Um, mineral powder. What does it say? Bad. Okay, peeps, uh, I'm back. I don't know what happened there. I'm not sure how much you saw, but my camera just shut off on me. So I will just touch lightly. It says battery level low, but it's not low because it's plugged in while I'm recording. Okay. Anyway, uh, Laura Mercier mineral powder concealer is uh, the outer inner part. Okay. Now I was going to go in with, oh, I hope this turns out peeps. If it doesn't, I think it's time for me to retire. Okay. So now I'm going to go in with, um, let's see, I think I'll use saddle. I'm going to touch down with a flat brush. This one's by MAC, I think. It's either MAC or Sigma. And let me get my, sh let me get my mirror. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm a little distracted. Let me get back. <sighs> okay. So I'm going to touch lightly on my hand to prevent fallout. A little tapping wouldn't hurt. I'm going to, let me zoom in a little bit for you. Okay. I'm going to take the brush and I'm going to tap it on the corner. Notice I don't extend down to this area. I'm tapping almost straight up and down. Okay, and then I'm just going to sweep it in. Okay, so it's kind of like an upside down L. Remember, with an aging eye, you do not want to drag anything down. So I'm going to go back in and I'm going to get some more of it because you can blend it out a little further, okay? You can always take it out more, but once you have it on, it's hard to clean it up and make it look good. So again, this is saddle. I'm going to tap it slightly on my hand, give it a little tap just to get the excess off. I'm going to come in. Again, I'm going to go straight up and down. It's, it's almost straight up and down. Really pack it on that corner. And then I'm just going to go in and run a little bit of it. I'm not going all the way across, just halfway, okay? Then I'm gonna go in and I'm going to take a fluffy brush. I'm gonna do a clean one. And this one's a loose fluffy brush. And I'm just going to fluff and soften that line. And this is where you can drag the color a little more. And by putting down that Samoya silk or whatever you chose as your base color, that helps you to blend it in more. Okay? And this is where you can angle up a little bit and soften that line. Okay? Do the same thing on the other side. I'm just, and if you hold your brush further down, you're not going to press that color and pretty much smudge it all out. You want to have, you know, like a layering effect. Okay, so I'm going to lightly smudge it, and then I'm going to do the same thing on this line, always carrying it up a little bit, and then running it in, just your crease, windshield wiper, see, to soften that line. And if you feel, okay, I need a little more. If you feel it hasn't blended enough, you can always go back in with your Samoya to soften it down. So I'm going to put just a little bit more of the saddle right here. Same, I love saddle. It's a, it's a beautiful caramel color. Or camel type. With a lot, of, no, I'll say it's a, a camel caramel. How about we, how about we give it two names? <laughs> okay, so now I'm going back in with the blush. I've added no product onto this at all. And I'm going to look into this mirror. And you have to really take some time for blending. The blending is very important. Okay. This is kind of a, a smoky look without having the harshness 
of the black because I didn't use, I mean, you could go in with construct, uh, constructive, constructivist. Uh, you can go in with uh, groundwork. I mean, if you wanted to darken this up instead of the painterly. Okay, so now I think I'm going to take that same brush that I worked with with the saddle, but this is where I want to add a little bit of shimmer. Not a lot, but I'm going to add, I like, I'm going to mix two of them together actually. And I'm going to, let me just wipe this off a little bit. I didn't bring anything. Okay, I'm just going to use the other side. Uh, this I think is soba. I don't even know if soba is made anymore. But I'm going to take a little bit of soba. I'm just going to dab some soba on the brush. But then I'm going to go into Era. And here's what Era looks like. Okay, and then it's like a light, and then this one here has a little more tone to it. So I'm just mixing the two of them together to put it into the inner eye. Now where did I do that? Right there, okay. So now I'm on, I have them on my hand, I'm just blending them together. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to place it right in the center of the eye. I'm not taking it all the way to the inner corner, just in the center. And the shimmer in this is so subtle. It's okay for us old gals, okay? So again, I'm going to go back in. I'm going to touch on the Soba. Then I'm going to touch on the Era. And then I'm going to work it like a palette on my hand to really blend the two colors. And then I'm going to go back in and just touch the center of the eye. Don't worry about blending it because we're going to go in and we're going to soften that line. Okay? Just need to take this, clean up that little bit I just dropped. You can always do your foundation and everything last, but because I did the tutorial beforehand, I didn't want to um, leave that part out of the tutorial. So uh, you don't have to set your eye yet because then you have the opportunity to go back and clean it up. Okay, so now I've applied the Soba and the um, Soba and the Era era. Okay, now I'm going to take, this is just an elf brush, I think, but it's a little bit tighter in its dome because I just want to soften the lines of this one. And I'm just lightly, lightly, because you don't want to make that color disappear. Okay? But you do want to soften that line. And then what it does is it, it puts a little bit, it deposits, it deposits a little bit of the color onto the painterly there. But not not too much, okay? So there is that. Now I want to add a little bit of that texture underneath my eye. So let me go back in and I'm going to get a dome brush. Getting a tight dome brush and I'm going to take some of that texture and I'm going to work that underneath my eye. I'm going to tap it on my hand I'm tapping it on my hand, and now I kind of roll it onto the tip. I'm going to tap it off, and I'm going to go under and just really deposit that texture underneath. And remember, if you don't make these ugly faces, your makeup's not going on right. I don't know how many times I have to tell you that. Okay, so I'm really just kind of smudging that line out. Same thing on the other side. I'm going to take it. I look up with my eyes. It's easier. And really just apply it to the corner. Now if you want a thicker line under there, you would lay your brush down a little bit. But if you want just a little, you're going to go keep your brush pointed and just smudge that line right out. Okay? I think I need a little bit on the other side. Touch it off and really, okay? So now you've kind of coordinated the whole eye because you're using the texture that you used here. But I want to add a little bit of depth to the outer because I want to make my eyes appear a little bit wider. So now I'm going to, it seems like a lot of colors, but actually it's, it is, but it's not, a, it's not, it's all in the way you apply it, okay? I mean, you can use a couple different colors, and as long as you're applying them, applying them, 
I'm blending them. It's okay. So I'm going to use, uh, do I want to use brown? Let me get my glasses on so I can see. Okay, for this one I'm going to use brown down uh, just as my little highlight. Now I have a Pro Smudge brush by Sephora and it's the 11. I'm going to touch the tip of it into the shadow, okay? Just touching the tip of it into the shadow. And I am going to touch that off on my hand because I don't want any of this dark fallout. And then I'm going to come in and I'm going to touch it right in the crease area and work it right in there and then a little bit right on the outer edge, okay? So most of your color is being deposited right in that crease area. I'm going to go in and get some more of that so I can do the other side. And then I'm going to tap it off on my hand and I'm going to really touch it into that crease area. And then a little bit right there. Okay? Okay? And of course we're going to go in and blend. Now you're going to take what's left, tap on your hand, and you're going to go underneath, right just in the corner here, and extend it up and out. Okay? This for me is kind of like putting a winged liner on it. Okay, touch it on your hand. And you're going to touch it and move it up. Okay? So now I'm going to go in with a tighter dome brush, and this is by Sigma. I'll write all the brushes and stuff below. And I'm going to look straight ahead. I'm just going to soften that line. I'm not going to carry that out too far, and I'm not going to bring it too far in. I want all the dramatic effect on the outer part of my eye. And by using this stiffer dome brush, I'm not moving it around my whole eye. If I had a really big fluffy brush, it would tend to bring it out a lot further. I'm going to also just lightly soften that line and join it into the upper. Okay, now without adding any more color, I'm going to take the Samoya, um, Samoya Silk that I brushed that I had and I'm just going to soften that line right there. Again, holding the brush further down for less pressure. Okay, and then you can go back in with your really fluffy brush and just really clean it all up. This one here has no product on it. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, off camera. I'm going to do my tight lining and my mascara. So I'm going to go on to my blush now. Uh, so I am going to first just touch off my face, make sure that nothing fell down, and I'm going to go in with a contour color for my cheeks. When I'm wearing a more dramatic eye, that's when I really like to have the contour of my cheek. So, I'm going to, I hope I brought the right blush palette over. Maybe one day I'll show you my matte blush powder powders too. Okay, I think I'm going to take, it's called Bone Beige. And it looks like that. And it is exactly what it says, a bone beige, okay? So, I use this old brush by Sephora and um, my um, this I said you'd never be able to find any but Natalie my friend Natalie over at Natalie 075 I think it is she found one or it just says she's as old as me and she had one of these powders <laughs> anyway the point of having a, a nice brush like this that's flat or a smaller angled brush uh, you could use that's tight. See how the brush is narrow and it's going to stay that way even when you apply it onto your skin. That really helps to gain control. So for this brush, because it's already narrow, I simply touch it into the powder. Okay. I apply 
it onto the powder, I always touch onto my hand. And remember, wherever you lay this brush is where it's going to apply first. And you can see the natural contour line on me, which is right here. I don't want it going down here. I don't want it going down here because this is a contour. So I'm just going to place it right here. And then I'm going to move it back and forth just to apply the contour. Okay, so you see there is the contour. And if I turn my face, you can see that it has lifted my cheek up because it's bringing this in. Okay, so I'm just going to load that up. And again, I'm staying right where my natural groove is. I haven't extended it out. I'm going to take that same powder. I'm going to touch it onto my hand. And I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Now, my jaw is very different on this side because this is where my TMJ is. So this bone has arthritis in it. So it's not the same as this side. So I, I kind of fudge it a little. But anyway, you can still see that I have a natural contour right here. Okay. So here you go. I'm placing it right there. Now you notice it's not here. So I'm going to just move it back and forth and apply that. If I give too much detail in my, my, um, my tutorials, uh, I won't apologize, but I am sorry for those of you who think it's like, okay, get on with it. Because there are many people that the technique of makeup has always been a frightening thing to them. So for me, when I am learning something new, I like a step-by-step -step process. So uh, that's why I really, I take baby steps and almost treat it, it's like, it's like, being in a, a, a grade school class and teaching. So that's what you try to do. You try to make it simple, but move it along. So anyway, here we go. So there it is. And now I will start to fluff it after I've added no more onto that brush. And never come down with it. Always drag up. Keep it here and go up. Okay? Here and go up. Okay? So you can also, now I wouldn't add more on the brush, but you can go and do your contouring up here. You can contour here. Uh, if you have a really wide face, some people, if you have a large area in here, you can go and keep it close to the Okay, so then a lot of people will contour their nose. I don't contour my nose. Some people will contour under here. I don't. Now, the jawline is something, as we age, that starts to drop. Mine is starting to drop right here. So I will touch. And I will do the jawline to sharpen that. Now this is where you need to be very careful and very precise in blending. Okay, so it gives you a, a more defined jaw. It's not going to take away the sagging or the whatever you call this. Uh, but this is where I will take my mineral brush and I will go and soften that line so that if you're standing there and you're going, oh, shucks, <laughs> you don't want anybody to see that, that orange line, okay? So you want everything to look natural, okay? So now I'm going to move on to my blush, and I think I'm going to use, I have mostly all peach caramel color blushes by MAC. This is a beautiful coral, and that's just my preference. I'm not a real pink girl. It goes against my skin, and this is cantaloupe. Cantaloupe, cantaloupe, cantaloupe. Um, I'm going to use that one today. So I'm just going to take a MAC brush, make sure all the hairs are out of them, and I'm going to tap it into my blush. Okay? And then I am going to knock it off because you don't want that big blob, and I'm also going to touch it into my hand. I'm going to look straight ahead into my mirror, and I'm going to place it up high because I want to lift my cheekbone up. I first pack it on. I like this technique. Okay, we have that. I'm going to go in. I'm going to touch my blush again. I'm going to knock it off because a lot comes off. Then I'm going to touch it on my hand. And if you'll notice, there's a lot on my hand where I'm touching. So I'm going to then look straight ahead and I'm going to do, now this side again is different because of my TMJ, but I am going to fudge it, and I'm just going to place it up high. I always place my brush up high. I don't like it here on my face. Okay, so here I go. And now I will just lightly blush it 
through the contour so that they blend. And I'll roll it around a little because I've already done all the packing of it on. And then I will just put it on. Okay? Now, for my final touch, what I do is I take my mineral brush and I will blend the two of them together because for me and my loss of vision with age, I fear things not being blended. So I will always take the extra step to blend. Okay? So now I'm just going to apply my lips and then I will go off camera, do my tight lining and my mascara. If at this point you are somebody who is fabulous at wearing eyelashes, you'll want, you can apply eyelashes. It'll even give this look more va va voom. Okay? So I'm going to use, this is by Christian Dior and it is their Earth also known as terracotta. I was not able to find this because I do not have a Dior counter. Uh, Joelle sent this to me. So I'm going to apply my lips. Now I follow the line and I do not extend it below. However, if you are someone that has thin lips and you want more fullness, just go on the edge of the outer lip. Uh, it is, but make sure you're wearing the right lip liner. The dark lip liner with the light lip gloss is no longer in style and that ages us. So we have to find lip liners that color coordinate, okay? Remember, at this age, peeps, and any age, I think, it's about enhancing what you have, okay? So we are going to do our lips. I don't want to go out of frame. Okay, now this side of my lip is higher than this side, so this side I do have to make it meet, this side. I round my peaks, like I've always said, I'm not going to do that over the center, that just looks ridiculous to me. I'm getting a little out of control here. Okay, so now I'm just going to lightly fill this in. Oops, I keep dropping my mirror. You want to know, see why it's cracked? Okay. All right, so now I'm going to go in, and this is by Gillon, and that is the color. I don't know which way is up or down. Okay, it's in one of those tubes that I don't really care for. But it's a beautiful shade, so... It ties in with the eyeshadows. Okay. I'll be right back, peeps. I'm going to finish the look. Okay, peeps, so this is the finished look. There is one other step that I'm going to just show you. Um, if you wanted to add a little highlighter to it, I would take a um, very soft, smaller brush. And because I'm wearing a mineral foundation, I am going to wear um, a... It's Pure Radiance by Bare Minerals. Another one uh, that I will use as a highlighter on my cheek area, I will not use it where the company recommends, is the Well Rested by Bare Minerals. I feel for an aging eye, this is very cakey, but I will use it in that area. But today, I am going to use the Pure Radiance, and you just want a small amount of this, and you're just going to use it to highlight any areas that you would highlight. But the trick to this is to use it in the same manner that you use everything else when you're doing bare minerals. So I'm just going to touch this area. You can even come up into this area to give a nice highlight and glow to that area. And I'm going to just apply it around. You can do the top of your nose, you can do your chin area, and you can do in between here. 
that is it. For my uh, mascara, I have uh, Giorgio Romani's Eyes to Kill. I do have black on today. Uh, I am usually a brown mascara wearer, but when I want a more dramatic look and I'm wearing um, earthy, earthy tones on my eyes, I will use uh, black mascara. And for the tight lined, I used uh, Costa Riche by uh, MAC. And then on the waterline, I am using my bronze by um, Estee Lauder. And uh, I think that's it, yes. So this is finally, hopefully, the completed eye look in um, that tutorial. Uh, leave all your comments below. You know I love hearing from all of you. And thank you for hanging with me on this and for uh, probably all getting a really big chuckle out of uh, menopause and what it makes us do. Okay, uh, thanks for stopping by. I hope you all have a beautiful day. And don't forget to subscribe. It's an anti-ager. Go out and have a beautiful day. And remember, be happy, be healthy, be beautiful. Be soon, my friends. I love you guys.